Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. For the people that are new to the channel and just coming for the EU content, I'm starting to do some uh, Let's Plays based on EU4 and possibly other games in the future. Uh, my channel was founded around, you know, streaming Rust and I will still stream Rust for the people that are already subbed for the Rust content. But I thought I wanted to do something new and I do enjoy these Paradox games and we're going to play as Holland. Our goal is to become a Netherlands and form a rich and prosperous empire, or at least nation. We'll see if we can buddy up with maybe France or Austria, see who will help us out. We've got a break free from Burgundy. Um, i got a bit of a stuffy nose and I'm feeling a bit crappy as uh, ill. So if you hear me sniffle or cough a fair bit, I do apologise with it. Bear with it. Uh, that'll probably be for the first few episodes due to... I'm going to pre-record a couple of episodes just so I've got something to put up in a couple of weeks. Or for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to build up some troops straight away and we'll see who can help us out straight away. Let's, let's pray. France and Austria. We've got three people that can help us. Bugger! Boo -boo! Yeah, boy! we got Austria. Frankie and England, bro. This is good. This is good. Let's just get another guy. And oh, this is great. This is great. Um, all right. Let's improve relations with Austria, though. Well, Austria is the big one because we're part of the HRE. We need to be friendly towards them, and we're not going to be expanding straight away. We're going to be Facilizing a lot of people so we can keep them under us. Ooh, no mercenary morale. Oh, there is, but that's really expensive. Free ducats. We don't even make that ourselves. No, we do, but we're not going to do it because we're making troops. Um, maybe fort defense. We're going to get siege down. I can already tell you that they're going to have a lot of troops and that we are just going to sit back here and allow them to attack us. I'm going to build over the force limit because um, I'll reply to you in a minute, PJ. Alright. Any more before we start this war? None that are really close. Okay. Right. I kind of want to wait for this army to be built, really. I want to run away and try and keep it alive, but I guess we're not going to be able to do that. They haven't let us go yet, either, so that's also good. I think that's quite a good tag team. An army coming from the east, or southeast, southwest, and northwest. I think that's good. Let's do it. We're going to take a stab hit and a prestige hit and legitimacy hit. We're going to be suffering. Oh, before we even start, we didn't do this. And I think I may have buggered myself here. Because we want a general. Oh, just out. Just out. That'll help for now. That'll keep us above and beyond. we got eight thousand troops and we've got a bloody good leader oh we've got such a good leader um what's our troop count what can we have up to 10k let's do it let's do it one and oh just a little bit out just a little bit out okay i can send a fleet out and i kind of want to run away i want to run i can escape to hung austria while they're down there we will, we've got no siege pips, so we need to be a leading army. So let's go to Ulm, and, oh, that's annoying. We'll, we'll pay for that to be fixed, and we'll actually stop this army being built. Save that money. Um, let's allow friendlies, get this 9k to attach to us, hopefully. No, they're not wanting to attach. I didn't actually look to see who would be joining this war, but um, good thing that we didn't—they didn't have a lot of good 
high people could join. Uh, we've got Flanders to siege down. These guys up here, which is... I'm going to go and deal with them. That's my part in this war. I want to try and keep my army. I don't care if we get siege down. But I would like to get that and siege down and out of the war. Hopefully France can cause casualties. Oh, they just about lost that fight there. But who's helping us? We've got England as well, which is great. But he's not shipping troops down just yet. So France has taken a bit of a beating. Let's see what they do about the Hundred Year War thing. Wait, what? I'm sure they were in the war. That's not Desmond, is it? No, nope. Desmond, where are you? Ah! <laughs> okay, so, totally out of the pit wrong end of the map. Desmond, I knew Desmond, but I didn't, I couldn't remember whereabouts it was. I only looked up there because I remember seeing a fl flag similar to Desmond's, which, if you look rarely, is black and white. Black and white, but it's a bit bigger. But yeah, islands, so we're gonna, they're going to get sieged down and out straight away. Um, I'm going to go and help out then, over this area. Oh, I saw an army down here. Actually, let's go and siege down here. Twenty thousand troops, I bet you that's in Austria. No, well, three thousand is. Got four wait what? Navarro? What? <laughs> Who are you under? Your allies. What? No way. Well, um, okay. That's a bit of a, a Scooby Doo type of thing. What? Desmond wants out. I will happily let you out, but you are giving me all your money and war reps. Yeah, why not? Get all our prestige back as well. Well, that didn't actually give me any prestige, that's a shame. I'm sure end rivalry should give you prestige. Hmm. Oh, actually, that's what I need to look at as well before. Alright, let's just hope Brandenburg's not lead. Oh, Burgundy's not leading an army. Prestige 5 or network. I'll take the prestige for now. Network would have been, Or the spy network thing would have been nice. Nefara wants out. I will give you an out. For never mind, you will not be out. I want to get as much money out of this as possible. Oh wow, war reps. War reps, not a lot, but spoils of war is the one main thing. Uh, oh, and we're also being subsidised. I believe I just saw. Yeah, subsidies two point six. That's going to build our treasury up. We're not having any luck with this siege. Could you put your siege leader on front, Frankie? That's your bad one. Here's your siege leader. <coughs> like, we got war score to demand money. Mustn't forget independence. And who's this? Or one? Can I? Yeah. And rivalry with them. They don't like it if I get war reps. What if I get an end rivalry? I get them to cancel vassalization? No, they're not happy with that either. Alright. I'll, I'll take that. They still like me for the decisions I made. We lost no troops. Again, great for us. We can now f stack, finish, uh, build to our limit. Yeah, and you're aligned with me. These two are going to choose. I got to choose between these two, and I choose France. France is close. England's never going to get a decent army on the mainland before it gets really destroyed. 
let's get our rivals. 16 minutes left of the episode or the f video. Was rival all of them for now, and our main goal is to facilize uh, Friesland. Uchi, Uch I can't say that, but these guys, and then get get jewelry, <laughs> jewelry. It's gonna call them jewelry, oh, gallery. Yeah, I'm gonna butcher all these names. I don't know how to pronounce them all correctly and stuff like that. So I do apologize, but let's have a look at this guy first for all war wise. Austria would join, but that's because we don't have a claim on them yet. But Brittany and Friesland. Hmm. We will start on these two. Who would join them? Oh, hang on. Actually, let's cancel this one. Pretty sure if we get a claim on them. Oh, we can do it right now. I'm going to get a claim. I'm going to wait for a claim. But we could really screw them up. We'll wait for them to come across and then we can attack them as well. Which means we'd need to put our ships down. Uh, would love to have a stab event hit me right now but we might have to buy it. So we will buy that. Form a Dutch nation. So yeah we need to capture this, this, this and this. Which is we're going to facilize this lot. These and these. And eventually integrate them into our nation over time. So it'll be a while before we even get to the Dutch nation. But, ooh. Yeah, I don't want to fight the rebels, so. Yeah, you can have that. <clears throat> we got a decent army and we've got a decent bit of income. Um, I would love to have them. Really? Um, ooh, we could build a f spy network really quickly. I'm going to keep the spy network going, but... Oh, they got another ally, which is these guys. They're gonna have about 10k. Yeah, hesitant to join me, and same for you. Well, we need to keep improving relations with these anyway. Friesland, and who are you? You're down here. I'm thinking far away. Possibly stack. Nah, we're not gonna get across here to stack wipe. As I said, we've we've done it, so I could have the opportunity just for restarts. I'm pretty new. I'm like I got a fair few hours into the game, but I'm still new with the war, and I make all these mistakes. So I'm just gonna put before war, just a possibility. If it turns out really, really bad for a war, or the outcome isn't really good or acceptable we could just roll back a couple of times I'm not gonna re-roll every war that I lose and stuff like that it's just the starting stage for me to get a build up and everything like that we kind of need to so I'm thinking we'll pick a war with these guys while he's still pretty low they're gonna join sure and they will join now I'll have about 6 7k which is kind of annoying because they are only one province and we can only hold 10 we've got 3 now join which means they'll have about 10 and they've got 7 but I'm thinking if we can just go straight across that river line stack wipe them while we have the chance to like it's the only thing I can think of how close are we to tech fairly close we might even be able to get that mid war or do I wait? I think I might wait actually for that tech advantage. Ah, oh, shame that weren't military, but I'll take it because that now goes. Ooh, never mind. Thought of someone. Oh, hello. We'll also get this, which gives us morale. Yeah, I'll get legitimate legitimacy. Not far now. Eight, uh, four more. There we go. Alright, we got the tech ahead. Tech ahead. And is it these guys? What was it? These guys. And tech ahead. Okay. Give it one more month. Alright. 
Wish me luck. Let's just put that quick save so we're here and we don't have to re-roll so far back. Uh, before war. It's just, like I said, just a couple of saves here and there, just if we need to, you know. Instead of ruining the entire Let's Play straight away off the bat, you know. That allows me to at least keep going. And this is what I say about me doing stupid moves. I might now lose this battle, if you know what I mean, because of the river crossing. We're going to get a minus two penalty, but... They have little morale, and we have the tech ahead of them, which is nice. And I will sit here and siege while I still get the chance to. They have... Yeah, enough the same as me. I have two more lights than them. And their allies aren't even showing up yet, which is great for me. I'm going to get that tech up as well. I'd love to get a morale army. But I'll keep the fort defense for now. Because that fort defense will be nice if they come and siege me. Uh, execute for treason or foreign spy detection. Oh, both so horrible. But we'll get the we'll do that one. Think of it in real life. You just execute them because you got the power to. So why not? Gonna build that spy network just up a little bit so we can. Ooh, that's. Painful. We just lost our guy. Putting up a lot of mercs. Ah, that's horrible. We're gonna suffer, aren't we? Um. Please, someone good. Please, someone good. Give us a florist, a golder. Eh. Meh. Terrible siege, and we get a free merc unit. Considering I've been building up a hell of a lot of mercs, eight thousand mercenary. That that's that. Oh, we lost it. What? No way. Oh, no way. Uh, I didn't realise they had so many ships, but that's fine. More money towards us, and we are going to merc up for this as well. I know you might be thinking, why merc up? You got an army there, but like, look at them now, 12k. And all of them are mercenaries, and I know for a fact that mercenaries give you a boost. Like, uh, how do we look? And I'm not too sure how we look at mercenaries. Um, I'm pretty sure you get a boost in, like, discipline for mercenary units. I'm not too sure. Uh, flanking range. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it's because I was playing a mod that gave me that? I don't know. But we'll soon find out. 12,000 versus 12,000 will take a river crossing penalty, but... Alright. Wait, did I... Ah, oh, I didn't even train up mercs, did I? That would be why. Well, I'll keep them, but I'll keep the... I'll get the one merc just to see... I kind of want to know as well. So we got Merc. Let's have a look. Flanking range. More upkeep. So they are the same. I thought Mercs give you a little bit more discipline or something in combat. Like they have either better morale or a bit better of a, um, discipline, but apparently not. Can we bait them there? Yes, we can. Oh, this is going to be terrible, but we're going to be fighting on planes. Or farmlands. With a tech advantage. Come on. Come on. Yes, we got it. We got it. That's good. That's good. Let's consolidate and let's kind of follow this army. Stack wipe him and we will siege him down. Uh, no, I will come over here and I will follow this army. For the fact of... It's very low on morale. And beast! We're going to get a river crossing penalty bonus on our... No, we didn't. Never mind. What's that manoeuvre? I'm sure we was meant to get one if we was the defender. Ah, oh, but it's farmlands. Never mind. Okay. So I was wrong there. It's farmlands, so we didn't get a bonus. But I'm fine with that. We'll just chase them again. Ew. Ew. Fair enough. 
Maybe no more chasing? Uh, abolish the tax and gain some burgers of loyalty. Or would we'll lose one stability. I will abolish the tax for sure. I am not losing a stability over something stupid. Give me that free army and we'll let them siege a little while. When we see the walls break, we'll go in because they're not going to replenish that great. They're going to lose a couple of hundred each tick. Oh, they're not going to, you know, they're going to lose that men power that they should be. Yeah, we outnumber them by at least 2,000 more. And a stack wipe, that's great, that's great. That's a good start, good start. Alright. Could even think about fossilizing them. Uh, Friesland wants a piece out. Let's just have a little look about... What could we get? Let's just actually siege this guy down. We could possibly really hurt this guy here. Uh, possibly even just vassalize him, get his men. His men. But I would rather do it with uh, East Friesland. Oh, Friesland and then East Friesland. Oh, wow. That's weird. Oh, yeah, Friesland and then East Frisia. Uh, I'm reading it wrong, but... They're never going to get enough map. I think that's a 10k? Uh, yeah, ten. Th no, you need 9,000 troops just to siege that down. Which is nuts. Uh, nobility, but the burgers lose a fair bit. Or the nobility. Uh, oh, we can see here, can't we? Do the nobility gain any... No, they just lose... Ah, oh, but the nobility will lose... Ooh, lose. Yeah, I'll take that. They lose the... Um, a little bit of influence, which is nice. I don't mind if they're a bit pissy at me. Siege? Nope. So, um, we get it? Yeah, we got it. Lovely. Alright. So that's going alright. We're going going good. Uh, do we facilize them? Or do we just take... Mm, they're not willing to, so I think we'll just take all their money. Demand war reps. Stir... Stair trade, not stir. We'll break away from Friesland. This gives us prestige, so it don't really matter. And then the rest of the war. Dutch or a Holland vassal. Take all your money so you can't be a pain in the butt with it. And you don't get to uh, them. Fortunately, you didn't have an army left over, but we can now disband that Merc unit because my point was proven that I was wrong. <laughs> and morale, national manpower modifier. Ooh. Oh, that, that will hurt. And we're actually still losing money. But why? Oh, stay maintenance, because we're trying to replenish uh, an army that we are probably actually over the limit as well. Yes, we are. So let's get rid of... I didn't get rid of one, but we'll get rid of this guy here, because he's not mid thingy. And it should help out a bit more. That helps out a little bit, yeah. Alright, time to start improving relations with this dude. Uh, yellow prestige I mean sure we could do with it now we're not going to be going down but we'll be going up and that's slowly but slowly going to go up and trade rich and prosperous but they cost 100 ducats and I want to keep these ducats for the next war which would be hair That'd be Brittany and those guys. So that might actually have to be this guy. East Freezer, him. Which we could take and then give it to Friesland. Uh, 
Mecklenburg is somewhere around. He's quite close, I believe. Mecklenburg. Oh no, he's actually miles away. Near Pomerania. So that's alright. That's a fine war. And then. Him, I just totally forgot. Right next to him. Okay. I suppose it's all good. I mean. Episode went okay, we got Pete, we got our independence, and but they got a vassal that's going to supply us with more troops. And that was a, an unfortunate stability loss. But I'm going to end this episode. Hey guys, thanks for watching. The first war is over. We are slowly asserting our dominance around us. Next war will be either one of these guys, and we'll hopefully just see where it leads us to. We're going to have an extra 3,000 troops assisting us once they actually like us. But until then, I'll see. You'll have to wait. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao!